such a time as this. And welcome to For Such a Time as This, the place where there is no such thing as a silent witness, and we will not be silent in the time of the coronavirus massacre. Well, not really. It's not a massacre. Anyway, on Fox and Friends, they're looking at these models that these statisticians have put together, and you've got one of these scare doctors. I call them scare doctors because they're doctors that like to go on television and scare you so that you can hang on their every word see they love the limelight they love going before a microphone and lecturing you people how we're not sure you might make it through but there's going to be massive deaths massive deaths but the models and the numbers that the models predict uh the host at Fox and Friends says, mm, it's not coming out the way you guys said it would. It wasn't too long ago where the president said, you know what, I got to continue. I got to go past uh, Easter with this, uh, uh, this uh, stand at home and stay in place and don't go to work uh, policy we have because I was told the model show 100 to 200,000 200, people could die. And now with 10,993 dead coming into the show and 368,000 cases in the U.S., that number seems far-fetched. And the models also show it might not be accurate. Let's listen to Dr. Burks and Dr. Dr. Fauci, talk about the new data and new conclusions. We did predictions of predictions. We like to integrate data, and so that's where you come up with these numbers. If we work as hard as we can over the next several weeks, that we will see potential to go under the numbers that were predicted by the models. Models are good. They, they, they help us to make projections. But as you get data in, you modify your model. And I've always said, data always trumps models. Maybe you are essentially overshooting the model. It's the virus doing what the virus wants to do. And it's we as a society doing what we can do. So what do you think about the models that show we might not be dealing with that much carnage? He was nice. What do we do with the model that says we, we maybe we're not dealing with that much carnage? Let me translate for you. Doctor, you all wise, all knowing doctor who used your model, how come your stupid model isn't working? H how, how come all these death and dying predictions that you all had, the numbers aren't coming out as bad as you said they were and in true to form this doctor because i i don't i don't like any of those doctors i don't like dr deborah i don't like dr fauci i don't like this this dr nicole because they can't say they were wrong they can't say that the models that they used the same models that in 2000 said the world would end in 2012 because of global warming is the same statisticians, it's the same models, it's the same garbage they use. Didn't work then, ain't working now. Instead of saying the models were wrong, look at what they look at what she says. So what do you think about the models that show we might not be dealing with that much carnage? Well, you know, Brian, I've said this all along. Those models are important to share with the American people because those worst case scenarios are important for us to know. And that's why we're going to listen to what people are telling us and we're doing our social distancing efforts. But they've always been a worst case scenario. And if you haven't noticed, these University of Washington models, which is the one that you're referring to today, they've continued to scale back their deaths as we've gotten more information, as you heard them just say, more information about how the virus behaves and also more information on what people are doing, school closures, 
closures, social distancing, non-essential business is closing. So that's now all taking that in. Just a few days ago, the model predicted about 10,000 more people would die. But now today, or yesterday, the most recent is saying it's significantly less, ranging from 49,000 to 132,000, which, by the way, is still a lot of deaths. But I think we can still get that number down. The one thing that hasn't changed with that model is the peak daily death rate, and that they have it as um, April 16th, as well as April 15th being the day that our hospitals are going to be overrun, which is why you've heard President Trump say we really have to prolong this just a little bit longer because those are the days. One of the things that haven't changed, that has not changed, was April 15th. That was the day that our hospitals were going to be overrun. She's sticking to that day. I will probably give the federal government about April 15th. If the hospitals aren't overrun, if, we are, if people are not dropping like flies out in the streets, then New Hope Community Church will have a decision to make. Do we continue to abide by models that let me let me let me let me translate to you about the models everything you just saw let me translate what that means they made it up it's all made up it's made up not real not true well we continue to scale back um we continue to scale back the predictions as the data gets back the models keep changing as the data comes in well no kidding no kidding you projected way up here it's coming in way down here and all models were worst case scenarios that's are we do you think we're stupid you don't ever give someone the worst case scenario when you're talking about their health let me let me give you an example you go in with your child to the doctor does the doctor come in and says well it's a good chance well there's a chance your daughter may die your little baby may die it's just going to be dead kiss the baby now because it baby's going to die does the doctor do that and then say well i just gave you the worst case scenario not sure that's going to happen not 100 percent sure i just wanted to give you the worst case scenario just so you are prepared doctors don't do that because once you say the baby's going to die, the parents are now emotional and they're not thinking. You don't come out and tell them a whole country, a society, that you know what, you may die. But you don't do that. You don't send the whole country in a frenzy by giving worst case scenarios. That, no doctor does that. No, no doctor does that. But they did it to us. They did it to us. I'm starting to believe they made it up. If by if that's the date, April 15th, and if hospitals are not overrun by April 15th, I think that really solidifies it. They made it up, which means it's something other than this virus. I think if what is going on, I could be wrong, but if what is going on, what I think is going on, this was a power grab. This is a power grab. I think we now live in a police state by which the United States Constitution has been suspended because of lies. Am I there 100%? Not yet. I'm getting there. Not yet. I'm open. But from a Christian perspective, if this is not about a coronavirus, and I'm close to the point of saying it's not, then what is it? What has this all been about? The church need to be prepared for what's coming. Boy, I... Whew, gird up your loins. Get ready for spiritual battle. For such a time as this, 